Back for a very important tip for you guys, this time related to the serve. We all familiar with the old keep your eye on the ball, you know how important it is to keep your head still when you hit your ground stroke so that you can see the ball well. If you rotate your shoulder as you hit your ground stroke and your head goes together, you lose the ball. So you actually see a little blur there, you don't actually focus the ball that well. So we all know keep your head still to hit the shots. Well guys, that applies to the serve too, okay? Mostly to the serve actually. Because it's even more uncomfortable to keep your head up and hold it there than it is to keep your head still when it's just on a regular position. When you put your head up, if you notice and you try to talk, even your voice box changes. The, the, the way the sound comes out so your, your brain really is not happy here in this situation here that you know it doesn't feel right so when we toss the ball up to hit the serve we get into a neck position here that is extremely uncomfortable when you put that together with a curiosity to see if the serve is going to go in the box there you go you got most club players out there tossing the ball and before they actually hit it they already dropped their head to check and see if it's going to go in the box, part by curiosity, and also they drop their head because it was very uncomfortable to stay up here. We just don't do that on a day by day basis unless maybe you're watching an air show and we all know that after a few minutes everybody's going, oh my neck, oh, it just doesn't feel right, okay? So let's say that from today and on when you go out there and you hit your serve, you're going to make sure that as you are striking the ball, the sky is your background. If you're playing indoors, the roof is your background, the ceiling. In the modern computer world days, uh, the word um, wallpaper is very uh, used, right? So when you hit your serve, there you go. The sky is the wallpaper of your serve. And we got a much better chance of reaching up for it better, of seeing the ball better, therefore hitting this ball right on the sweet spot your serve quality is just going to go up, okay? So let me demonstrate a couple times. First, I'm going to show one or two, once or twice how not to do it, which is dropping the head too soon. And then I'm going to hold my head up and do it the right way. And when you practice out there, you can even exaggerate a little bit. And hold your head up, hit, and even wait for it to bounce over there in case you would have to ask somebody, hey, did it go in or not? Because you didn't even see it. You were holding your head up as long as you could, all right? Check it out, guys. All right, here we go. In this case here, I'm gonna drop my head too soon. So there you go. Before I make contact with the ball, I'm already looking down. That's no good. You wanna hold your head up until you hit it. Make sure you see the impact of the ball. Exaggerate in the beginning so you get really used to it. At first you might think, gosh, but I can't aim that well into the box. But folks, I guarantee you, the court doesn't move. The service box is stuck there on the ground. Your brain knows where it is. What's moving is the ball. That's where you want to be looking at. Okay? Once again, keep your head up. You might have heard out there, keep your chin up when you hit the serve. I go beyond that. Make sure that when you hit the serve, the sky is still your background. All right, guys? Cheers. It's a wrap. See you next time. Take care. Bye.